Hi guys, Chloe here, and I'm sat here with Pepsi, and we're going to be bringing you a video about guinea pigs. Um, and this video is going to include clips from the cage and from me speaking, just so you guys sort of understand. Before I get any comments, I know the cage is dirty, prehand. This cage will be cleaned as soon as this video has been taken. Um, so, let's begin. So, by the title of this video, you guys know, it is bonding tips that you guys can use on your guinea pigs or rabbits. I'm going to keep it as guinea pigs just because I found these work really well and I get a really good, like, a real good bond with my guinea pigs through doing these and if you're one of those people who are thinking about getting a guinea pig or you have a guinea pig already that you know you might want to try these out because they for me I find they work but I'm not saying these ones will 100% work but for me I have found these work on pretty much all my guinea pigs so enjoy hi guys so tip number one is when you walk into the room where your guinea pig's cage is situated it is vital that especially when you first bring them home so they get used to your voice or just do this generally when you walk into the room you just say hi you just let them know you're there and i'll go and demonstrate right now here's the demonstration hi boy Hello. Hi, boys. Hello. Hi, Pepsi. Hi, Mika. Hi, boys. It's vital you do this just because they'll start to get used to your voice and associate your voice with being safe, being calm, and you're a friendly face to see, and they'll come and say hi to you. So, tip number two. I've got them right down here if you wonder why I keep looking down. Um, holding your guinea pig regularly is a key to help establish a bond. Um, it establishes a bond because if you hold them and you hold them correctly and you just slowly stroke them, slowly and gently, over time they'll start to get used to you and they'll start thinking that when you're picking them up they're going to be safe, they're not going to be dropped all of a sudden, they're going to be lovely and it's going to be a nice happy experience and it should be a nice happy experience for you and for your pig as i'll demonstrate so this is how i hold my guinea pig i have one hand on their back not firmly just nice so they can see i'm stroking them and stuff and i have one hand always under their bottom legs so they're holding their legs and their bottom together nicely not so you're hurting the guinea pig but just gently so they know that they're safe it's a safe little cushion for them to sit on and he'll chirp this is chirping is just you know general conversation and if their chirps start to get and it sounds like they're distressed like that if you can hear it then you know that they're not happy they're not safe and you're not holding them right because they will tell you they'll be like whoa i'm not safe so yeah that's how you hold a guinea pig in a little short clip next tip hi guys so tip number three is groom and clip your guinea pig's nails um i wouldn't recommend unless you know how to do it or you're experienced or you're with someone who is experienced about cutting the guinea pig's claws I have been trained to do it in the pet shop and on my level 2 course and I can do it myself, so can my granddad, um, he's experienced as well. So don't cut the guinea pig claws unless you're experienced or you know how because you can seriously hurt and break a bit of trust with your guinea pig. So I would advise you that you take them to the vets or be shown how to do it by an expert. But don't try it on your own. So, grooming can essentially be like handling. You just fuss them and groom them and make them look and feel nice. Grooming any animal should be a happy experience between your guinea pig or between your animal and you. But none more than a guinea pig and your owner. Isn't that right? 
Pepsi, this is your turn to shine. Right, so there are a number of brushes you can use. I haven't got the Skinny Pig Nail Clippers out just because they had their nails done a few days ago and I don't want to stress them out because Pepsi especially gets stressed when he has to have his nails clipped but he does like having a brush. So it's important to speak calmly to your guinea pig and slowly and carefully stroke them like this. Now there are two types of brushes you can use. There is this one which is a short haired brush and this one which is a long haired brush. And the way you can tell this one is a long haired brush is because it's wiry and the bristles are a lot closer together and if you feel it's a lot rougher. This brush is definitely not to be used on any short haired guinea pigs, rabbits, animals. You should always use a nice soft bristled brush for short haired animals because it will break the bond again and they won't trust you and they will not enjoy it. It will hurt them and you could cause some serious cuts to your animal. So I won't be using this brush on any of my guinea pigs because they're all short haired but this was my old gin my mum's old guinea pig's brush Scruffy and he was like really long haired so yeah we'll put that side to the brush we'll put that brush to the side sorry and we'll go to see he recognises it straight away that it, it, it's not you know it's not dangerous and as long as they're gentle they won't they shouldn't move away now he's a bit restless just because he knows there's veg around and he's hungry come here There we go. Yeah. So just gently, don't force them to be brushed. If they don't like it, they'll move away like Pepsi's doing. But honestly, they should just sit there nicely on your lap or on the bed and get groomed nicely. I'm going to stop now because he's a bit restless and isn't really keen on being brushed today. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Hi guys. For this next one, it's quite fun. Uh, my guinea pigs will probably make noise in a minute because I have their favourite treat, which is carrot. I've chopped up some carrot into chunks, so it is there, it's still going to help them break down their teeth, and they can still chew and munch on it. Now, this tip is number four out of six. So, this tip is hand feeding your guinea pig fruit and veg. Um, this establishes a bond because they see that you're a nice person, you're kind, you're bringing them f their food and, you know, my guinea pigs absolutely love being hand fed. As you will see in this next clip, it just establishes a bond. They know that when you're feeding them, you know, they're safe. It's a safe way to build a bond in their cage. So they know that their cage is a safe zone. Their cage should always be known as a safe zone to them. Uh, <laughs> They're already at the door, bless them. So, their case should always be known as a safe zone and it should be, you know, when you are doing this and your guinea pig moves away, don't go and shove veg in its face because it's not going to enjoy that. So, enjoy the next clip. Hi guys, so I have chopped up some carrots and I've got it in a bowl. But honestly, if you are after advice on what foods your guinea pigs can and can't eat please check out my other video which is also on my channel that will give you a little bit of help and advice on what they can and can't eat but this is carrot one of their favorite treats so let's give it to them what's this what's this does he like them Hi guys, back again. So these final two tips sort of roll into each other, but they are five and six. So number five is show affection, but be sure that you don't overdo it. Because 
your guinea pig will have it want its personal space like any person like a child like a human being you are not going to smother your best friend are you you are not always going to be there well you should always be there for your best friend but you're not always going to be in their face you know 24 7 and you know your friends are going to tell you to back off a bit you know you know we want some personal space and it's important that you respect your guinea pig's boundaries and know that if it doesn't want to be messed with, it doesn't want to be messed with. Signs that your guinea pig doesn't actually want to be messed with is it will run away if you try to touch it or it will run into its hidey house. And if your guinea pig is in its hidey house, it is vital you shouldn't get them out because that is their like bedroom area, their safe, that is a safe zone within their safe zone where you should not try and grab them or mess with them because they could turn around and bite you or scratch you and uh, you could end up hurting the guinea pig trying to get them out especially if it's got a small hole so if your guinea pig is in the hide house or it runs away from you it's not it doesn't like you it just wants to be left alone or you know it's just not in the mood because we all have those times so yeah guinea pigs when they're not in the mood they'll scatter away or they'll go up steps my guinea pigs go upstairs into their hidey house and that's fine I leave them alone I don't mess with them they come to me when they want some attention and I'll get them out and cuddle them then your guinea pig will love you as long as you respect its boundaries and know that it does not want to be messed with 24 7 okay tip number six slow gentle movements because guinea pigs are fragile this tip basically is you've got to remember guinea pigs are quite fragile especially their legs their back legs because they can break really easily and in some instance if your guinea pig's leg breaks um it will have to have it amputated um i know my aunt used to own a guinea pig and um she had to have her leg amputated i couldn't remember what happened because i was only a little when this happened but she had to have her her guinea pig's leg amputated so it only had three legs it was still a lovely guinea pig i think she like accidentally dropped it or she weren't holding it properly or it wriggled and fell on the floor onto its leg sadly I had to have it amputated so you have to remember to make sure you're holding them properly and to make sure that you know you're being gentle with them and you're not brushing the way their fur doesn't go so Gizmo's fur runs from his head down to his butt or his feet so it's vital that you do this just like if you were brushing your hair you know like this nice and gentle don't apply any pressure on them whatsoever that is how you calm them and be safe um don't like do that so their fur sticks up because you're actually hurting your guinea pig and it won't trust you and it could turn around and bite you so those are it's about it really for this video let me know what you thought of this video is it a good video bad video let me know in the comments do you want to see more guinea pig information videos let me know in the comments and um if you want me to do this about any other animals let me know and of course subscribe if you <laughs> i'm so tired and subscribe if you haven't already because that's awesome if you do um Finally, you can follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description or it will be at the end of this video. Here. Yeah. And, of course, I will see you in the next video. Bye.